West Ham fans, I am sorry for you to see this, but Declan Rice has gone ahead and signed with the likes of Arsenal. He's going to be wearing the number 41 for that club, and his transfer has apparently cost over 100 million, which is absolutely incredible. As we dive into this West Ham rebuild, let me know in the comments down below if you think Declan Rice is worth that money. But obviously, this club now with David Moyes, who has basically just survived in the job due to winning the conference league we want to see if we can go ahead and turn this club into a massive success again they have won the uefa cup which is the euro league right now in 1965 and obviously the conference league in the previous season we can all tell what is missing and that is the champions league and that is going to be the thing that i am going to be chasing after but for that to happen we need to fix a lot of things that have gone wrong in this club even though they might have won the big trophy the premier league season wasn't as good. It sucked. So let's take a look at that league table at the end of the last season. West Ham only had 40 points, which is just six points ahead of Leicester City, who got relegated. Obviously, that is not the type of, type of position you want to be in as West Ham. And if you look at their squad right here, obviously, this team has had success in the Conference League. But one thing that this team is clearly lacking is goals what i can see right here in this squad is that you have two players who have cracked over 10 goal contributions this season especially in the premier league you have bowen who had 11 goal contributions and then you had danny ings who had 10 himself if you go further i believe ben rahma was one of the most um shot creating players in the prem like top 15 or something like that the ben rahma on the left hand side is quite a good player still quite okay in terms of age but if you look at that CDM position, clearly you are not seeing Declan Rice in there, which is an issue. And then if you go further down the list, if you go down here, he is going to be gone. You know that. But also Skamaka, as I had him in my AS Roma rebuild, he is continuously talking about AS Roma. They want to sign him as soon as they can. But there are a lot of things that you need to consider in this case. And these two probably will be gone. I and mean, Declan is gone, but Skamaka is going to be gone as well. So then you look at this team and think, is there enough depth in this squad to go ahead and succeed in the Prem in a way where this team won't be fighting against relegation? And for that, I don't think there is. I think you do need to go ahead and change things up, swap things out in that midfield. Two new CDMs. Suchek is a decent one or was decent previously. But I haven't really seen him on that form that he used to be on for a while for West Ham. So I'm thinking a new CDM to start things off and another one potentially. So two new CDMs to really help this attack to go ahead and do their thing without really necessarily going ahead and thinking, oh, I need to run back and defend immediately. And I think this team needs a striker, a clear cut number one striker. None of this Antonio, Danny Ings swapping around all that jazz we're going to go ahead and fix all of that. You need to fix this. For that midfield spot, I think the perfect player for any team that is looking for a defensive midfielder is Florentino Luis. Guys, I've watched him plenty of times at Benfica. First, when he was playing alongside Enzo Fernandez, allowing Enzo to carry the ball into the opponent's half and create things while he was securing things up at the back. His name has now been going ahead and rumoring around with the likes of Liverpool as well due to Fabinho and Henderson's exit possibly. But when it comes to like genuine defensive midfielders, someone that legit just stays back and does his job and to the best of his abilities, I don't think there are many as good talents as Florentino Luis out there. And for that reason, since Declan Rice was putting up incredible defensive numbers in terms of like interceptions and going ahead and creating things from the back for the team by getting the ball and distributing it to the midfielders or the wingers around him, I think Florentino would be perfect for that. I mean, I have seen him play. I think he has amazing abilities in terms of like he never stops running. He's always constantly moving. The guy never stops. And one thing I would say, though, at times that I noticed with him is he sometimes should stop because he doesn't have the positional awareness at times where he's like running into his opponents rather than staying in the open spots to receive passes. That's one thing that Florentino Luis is lacking, but that is something that he can easily learn, in my opinion. So I'm thinking Florentino as the defensive CDM, 
And then the next one that comes in along him will probably be someone that can go ahead and create things. So not necessarily a CDM, so to say, Maybe someone that can basically do both. Someone who has stepped up his game big time in the previous season for me at Olympique Lyon is not only Ryan Cherki, the offensive player, but also Maxos Skakere. He has stepped up. He has become a bit more creative in his style of play. He has started to take set pieces as well, which is a huge part at West Ham. At West Ham, you have a lot of tall players who just want to go ahead, be in the box, jump up, score the goal, be physical, all those things, he can go ahead and provide if needed. Maxas Kakere is someone of a smaller stature, someone that will profit from Florentino Luis, his physicality and his defensive abilities, and be able to go ahead and create things as a centre midfielder who also can defend. So if you look at his stats right here, he does have 74 defending, he does have lower physicality of course, but he is someone that is to be found in those defensive positions many times. And that is something that West Ham obviously do want as well. You don't want to play too much of a high line. You're trying to counter your opponents. And with Kakere and Florentino now in this team, you can support Lama, someone like Paqueta to go ahead and just do his best in that attacking style that he wants to create. So I think this signing is a really, really good one. I'm very excited about these two possibly coming into this West Ham squad. Honestly, they can be very realistic, especially if you think about Florentino Luis. I think a lot of people are overvaluing him at this moment in time because for the first half of the season, he was playing all the time. In the second half of the season for Benfica, you had Joao Neves, the youngster, come through. He has done an incredible job. And obviously, Chiquinho or Arsnes were playing for Benfica as well, not necessarily allowing Florentino a guaranteed starting 11 spot at Benfica. So becoming a bench player might have dropped down his value just a little bit. I would be surprised if he actually stays at Benfica in this summer, as a lot of teams have a desire to bring in a good CDM. And then, yeah, as I said before, Kakere now a little bit more uh, evolved in his abilities to move the ball forward. I think he would be a great signing for West Ham. And I honestly believe West Ham could easily afford these two. So the season has come to an end and I decided to not opt in for any other transfers, but we did let go for a couple of other players due to their release clauses being triggered as well. But our season is done right here. You can see a couple of wins in the month of May and before as well. And losing in a conference league against Feyenoord, that is fine. I guess that was the quarterfinals, but generally speaking, our team seems to have done really well. Exceptional! Seventh position, 59 points on West Ham. And obviously, Manchester City winning the league title. But an amazing amount of improvement in this team straight away, despite not bringing in too many transfers. And honestly, I was looking at the transfer rumors for West Ham. I was going through online pages, fan sites and everything, and I couldn't find that much. West Ham right now have done basically no transfers. Declan Rice has left and Arthur Masuaku has joined Besiktas permanently. That's all I can find right now. So really odd how silent things are. There is one rumor though about Palinia from Fulham who could possibly join West Ham. That's one thing to keep in mind, but here we are and our midfielders have done well. I had to let go of Socek, by the way, middle of the season because Kakere was not getting the play time he was supposed to get. After that, he turned to be a happy boy again. Florentino up to an 82 and we had to go. Uh, we had to let go of Sufal, the right back, the 30-year-old. His release clause was triggered for 20 million, which I'm happy to take. So Johnson got the play time, and he's obviously a youngster now, 23 years old. And back line didn't look too bad. Obviously, I would like to bring in a proper left back in here. Cresswell is too old. He's now 33. His contract according to Transfermarkt, hasn't been extended for the season. So I don't know what's going to happen with him. I don't even know if he like retired or something, but we obviously have Emerson who has now won multiple trophies in his career, which is quite impressive actually. But hey, it is what it is. New left back would be a nice thing to have. And Danny Ings has taken over the striker position because Antonio dropped in his rating and Bowen was the best player. Am I surprised? Not really. But then again, Danny Ings got 11 and 3. So you can see the players that did well in real life have done well in this season as well, which is quite impressive if you ask me. But obviously, 
I want to go crazy in the next season with more transfers coming into the club. We do need to improve this team to achieve a lot more. And for that to happen, we can't be having Danny Ings at striker, Emerson at left back and all those things. So let's sort it out. Let's do it. Chris Tam, how would you feel about bringing in a striker that has gotten 12 goals and 8 assists in 25 matches in the VC? And it is someone that can be physical. Someone that would fit in into this West Ham project, in my opinion, would be Pavlidis. AZ Alkmaar striker, the Greek man, has had an incredible season for AZ Alkmaar and probably would have scored even more goals and gotten more assists if he wasn't injured for a certain period of time in the last season. So now, West Ham obviously looking for a new striker since Danny Ings and Antonio won't be enough for Premier League football. We're going in for Vangelis Pavlidis. This is the player I think can take this team to the next level. I truly believe so. He comes in at an 80 rating, which is automatically higher than Antonio and also Ings. And he provides us with not a lot of pace. As I said, quite physical. Comes in with 83 physicality and is just a great finisher. 80 shooting, 79 dribbling, solid player, finesse shot outside of the foot shot traits on this man as well. I think this would be, in terms of like the price category, this would be the perfect striker for someone like West Ham to go ahead and bring in and potentially sell on for a lot of money in the future. As you can see right here in the second season, he's 24 years old. Obviously in real life, that is what, he's, uh, what his age is right now. So you would have to think like maybe in a couple of years time, if West Ham was to get this man, they can go ahead and sell him when he's like 27 for a decent chunk of money or 26, whatever. But Pavlidis, very happy to bring that player into the squad. Now I want a new left back. So for the new left back position, I've gone ahead and chosen a Uruguay national team player. It is Oliveira. This guy could be perfect for West Ham style of play because we all know the Uruguay national team players or players from that region fight for everything they give their all on the pitch so for me this was a clear-cut choice napoli's left back is now our left back emerson goodbye Oliveira. welcome to the club and actually guys i found a rumor that would be quite interesting to bring into the squad but first of all his stats are obviously great he's six foot tall high attacking work rate he doesn't have a lot of pace but this is still someone that will hold it down next to Aguerd right here. Very happy with this signing. Now for the left wing position, there's one player that has been wanted by multiple Premier League clubs. And here is the rumor. West Ham are preparing a bid for Harvey Barnes in an effort to blow Newcastle out the water after stalled negotiations. Very, very interesting situation. And for that reason, Harvey Barnes, how about you join us and play on the other side of Jared Bowen? This man is ready to play Premier League football. Obviously, he has gone down alongside Leicester, down into the championship, and a lot of teams are interested in bringing him back into Premier League football. And for that reason, I was interested in him as well. Harvey Barnes, welcome to West Ham, a player that is rumored to join. And Ben Rahma, I appreciate you. I really do, but I wouldn't mind Barnes on that left-hand side. Look at him. He comes in with an 82 rating. This guy still has bags of talent in him. He's six foot one. That never came across to me when I was watching football. I never on never looked at him as like six foot one. I honestly saw him as like five foot ten max. But hey, it is what it is. <laughs> That's an interesting thing. Uh, you learn something new every day. But yeah, Ben Rahma obviously comes down onto the bench right here for me. I think Corne is not necessarily someone and we need to bank on there and then we can take Cresswell out as well and put in Vlasic. Vlasic, a player that is obviously uh, coming back from his loan deal. I wonder if he is going to stay. I'd be very surprised if he does. I believe he should be gone. Hasn't he like moved somewhere else? I need to read up on it. You can't even read. And here comes the next transfer, my friends. It is the main man himself, Per Schurz. Yes, West Ham are keen, keen on signing Peter Schurz. Not Peter, it's Per and are ready to offer Nikola Vlasic plus 20 million for the Dutch defender, who's actually wanted by a lot of clubs right now. And he was actually linked to Liverpool at a short time as well. But here he is, West Ham, get him. And I actually did it with Vlasic in the deal as well to keep it as realistic as possible. I believe Vlasic did play at Torino already, so this would be an easy one. 
and Schurz comes in with a rating of 78. Someone that can easily push his way into the squad over someone like Zuma in the future. You also have Tilo Kera here, who is a good backup. So we have two really good players here on the bench, where Schurz could easily become the one to play next to Aguerd. Very satisfied with this transfer window. I think I'm done for now. The season is finished. Let's take a look at the players and the standings. We finished in the eighth position. So guys, not necessarily doing better. Um, we are doing all right, I guess. I think last time we had 59 points. So I'm assuming it will take us a little bit longer to get this team to the level we wanted to get. But we do see Pavlidis rising up in his rating. Barnes has overtaken Bowen already. Florentino Akakere looking very good there. We obviously have Paqueta on an 85. Zuma on an 82. Schurz is chasing him down in terms of stats. Johnson, Oliveira, Aguert. I really like how this defense looks at the moment. Ariola on an 82. He's 31 years old. At some stage, there might be a necess necessity to change that position up. But generally speaking, I am very satisfied with how things have gone. And I think some players might have left the squad. Have I... Let go. Oh, Tilo Kera. They have uh, triggered his release clause. Well, that is an interesting one for me. I didn't even realize that at first, but hey, it is what it is. And in the squad hub, we can see hopefully Pavlidis doing well. No! No, dude. Why are you playing? Why? Oh, Danny Ings. Oh, God. I'm sorry, but I have to release him. I just have to. I need Pavlidis to play. What the hell, man? The man played nine games. Uh, he's probably pissed at this stage about his playtime, isn't he? Oliveira getting a new contract right here. Where's Pavlidis? Yep, very unhappy with the playtime. I don't know why this keeps happening. Maybe it was because he might have not been a crucial first team player. That might be the reason behind it. That's something we need to change up straight away. And it still says important. I'll change that up as we go into the next season now. For the goalkeeper spot, I wanted to go for someone who hasn't gotten as much respect lately and should be a bigger name. I'm going for Napoli's goalkeeper, Meret. Yes, he is the one we are bringing into this club because that man and Napoli have done incredible things this season to go ahead and win the league title, obviously. So... For that reason, I'm very happy to welcome him into the club. He has held a lot of clean sheets throughout the last year. Actually, 20 to be exact. And now he's going to become the number one in our team. Now, I am very happy to have him. And I think our team will do much better defensively with him, who is capable of still growing. Ariola, I appreciate you. I still remember the days where you were just a young lad and a talent. But... Here he is. Meret comes in with an 83 rating and he's 6 foot 3 and he's only 27 by now. The season has finished and guys, it's been a good one. Let me go ahead and show you because we have finished in the top 4. Yes, West Ham have done it. 66 points, only 10 behind Manchester City. Has been quite a competitive season if you consider that the first place team has had 10 draws and 6 losses. That is big, but... We are getting Champions League football. I didn't think we would make that jump straight away. I was thinking maybe Europa League first, but no, no, no. Danny Ings, I'm sorry I had to kick you out. It was all for the good of the team. Pavlidis has grown nicely, and I can't wait to see his stats. Paqueta, 88. Let's go. Barnes, 87. Bowen, 87. Kakere, 85. Florentino on that beloved 87 as well. Defensively, I get up to an 86. He's only 29. There's at least two more good years in him. And then the left back, center back, and right back all on an 84 with Mere getting to that 85 rating. We probably do need to work a little bit on the bench, but you guys know I'm terrible at that. But uh, we will take a look into the stats. Champions League football thanks to Jared Bowen. Okay. 22 and 9 from him. Pavlidis with the 15 and 1. Not necessarily Danny Ings numbers, but Paqueta 14 and 5. Probably his most influential season so far. Very good to see that. And also, of course, we have had Schurz move into the starting 11. I have let go of Zuma. So Schurz has taken over, and the team is now progressing into the biggest chase of this rebuild, which is that Champions League trophy. As I said before, they have won the UEFA Cup, they have won the Conference League. Now, 
it's time to go for the big one. Let's see if we can get close in this upcoming season. Season is coming to an end. We have gone ahead and played against Napoli and beat them. Obviously, after buying some of their better players. And we have gotten past Bayern. I am assuming on penalties, which is something I don't mind, to play against Dortmund in the semis. 3-0 and... Come on. Yes, win the cup. Win the cup. Come on. Against Fulham, you can do this. You can do this. Yes, let's go. There's at least a double on the line for West Ham right here. Incredible job by the team. I didn't think this season would be the one, but I'm very happy that it is. Because honestly, we have a lot of players in this West Ham squad that are still originals, obviously, with the likes of Paqueta, Bowen, Johnson, Aguerd. So I'm very happy with those. But clearly, you can tell that we have brought in a couple of players. And that's what it will probably take for West Ham to really make that next step, to try and push into the top eight once again. As we know, West Ham at certain stages were doing much better than what they have done last season. And to be able to get back up there, I don't think it requires only a replacement for Declan Rice, but more than that. And that's something I wanted to showcase in today's video. But having done that, our team obviously I'm extremely happy with. Nothing to complain about there. In terms of stats, Pavlidis, 42 goal contributions. Let's go. Paqueta done well. Bowen, Barnes, Kakere with 13 and 19. Great job by the Frenchman there. Very satisfied with his performances. And of course, in the league standings, how is it looking? Is there a treble on the line? I don't think there is, but... Oh, third. I'll take it. We're only four points behind Arsenal, who obviously have Declan Rice, but it's okay. We will go for a big double right here with the FA Cup and also the Champions League ahead of us. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and captain Owen. I want him to be the one to lift the trophy if we get it done. I'm on a mad streak right now of not losing in Champions League finals. So let's see if we can keep this up or for how long we can keep this up for. And it's Atletico Madrid. Atletico coming in with Joao Felix, Tammy Abraham, McAllister, Neves, Kondogbia, Cucurella, Consa, Kalulu, Todibo, Gusto, Oblak. That is definitely the best Atletico team I've seen and the best I'll be playing against in FIFA 23. So here is that moment you and I have been waiting for. I am hoping that we can do an amazing job right here and make the West Ham fans forget about Declan Rice having left the club. <laughs> Oliveira pushing onwards, sees the run of Barnes. Barnes, left footed cross into the center. And we nearly got something out of it. And we might still. In the end, it's great defending by Atleti. But Florentino Luis knows how to stop that. A great pass inside. Pavlidis head on. The golazo. It's not offside. West Ham have taken the lead. What a beautiful pass into Pavlidis. I was sure it was offside. It all started off with Florentino Luis doing exactly what I thought he would do if he was to join a team like West Ham, breaking up the play for the opponents and starting it with a pass forward. And Pavlidis, physical enough to get that one past the keeper and the defender before that against Todibo, who's a quite tough one to get past anyways. Good movement of the ball. McAllister, pass inside. It's Meret. Easy. Thank you. And we have players in the center. Paqueta, lovely work. Good footwork here. Down the right we go with Bowen. Bowen sees the run of Johnson. Johnson inside into Pavlidis. Trying something fancy. Thank you for that steal. Oliveira, good job. Pavlidis, Bowen. Bowen, of course. There is no way this extraordinary West Ham player would go without scoring in this game. What a job this team is doing so far. Physically just outpowering our opponents, outperforming them in any position. Atletico, I thought you had a good team, but so far you ain't competing. Trying to get a touch in, but it seems like they are taking it quite serious now. They might be mad about what I said a second ago. And they nearly scored. By the way, as we get into the second half, one thing just came to my mind. Have you guys seen the West Ham, Burnley, and Aston Villa kits? Like, 
it's all the same. Guys, can we have different looks, please? Can someone just go with stripes or something? It's all looking the same. Oh, this is great football. Sammy Merritt, let's go, buddy. That's a good ball. Tammy again through. Is he going to shoot? Hey, even if he tries, I get this there. Oh, no. Keep the clean sheet. 92nd or 93rd minute. Joao Felix scores a goal, but I don't think that is enough. There's no more time left, and that trophy should be lifted. But Jared Bowen, correct? As soon as I pass this ball. It's done! As promised, it's Jared Bowen picking up that trophy. Declan Rice is gone. Bowen is the one left over here, and he is going to lift it. Honestly, if he moves teams as well, it's not looking good for West Ham. But hey, the Hammers have done extremely well in this season. Very proud of the club that we have created right here. The rebuild is complete. And I had a great time, and I hope you did too. I will catch you on the next one. Take care, and peace.